Hey guys, welcome back. We're out in the garden doing some harvesting and watering and we discovered we have a little bit of a pest problem. I'd like to introduce you to the tomato hornworm. They are large greenish blue caterpillars that at full size can reach three to four inches long with a spine or horn at their rear end. They're more common in the home garden than they are in the industrial garden areas. They are found on plants in the nightshade family. They prefer tomatoes but can be found on eggplants, peppers, and even potatoes. They attack the foliage and fruit, eating four times their weight each day. This can cause decay in the vine and scarring of the fruit, making it unstable during the ripening process. As for their life cycle, it begins after they emerge from the soil in late June. They lay their eggs on the leaves of their host plant. Once the eggs hatch, they begin to feed and consume their host plant over the next month before they pull pupate and turn into their final stage of five-spotted hawk moth. There are a couple different methods for its treatment of these pests. One of them is a preventative method by planting marigolds as a companion plant with tomatoes which is said to repel this particular species. There's always an option of using pesticides or insecticidal soap, but unless you have a significant infestation or a larger garden area that you're not going to be able to spot treat, it probably isn't necessary. Now that next method is simply removing the caterpillars, seeking them out and picking them one off at a time. If you have a black light handy, the caterpillars are set to glow green at night under the black light, making it easy to locate them. The next method is simply letting nature do its thing. In this case, it's introducing a parasitoid wasp like the Braconid wasp. These savage insects attack the hornworm, injecting it with a virus that disables its immune system, creating a safe environment for the eggs to develop. They continue to feed until they chew their way out of the body, and that is where they spin a cocoon, and that's what these white things sticking out of the back are. They will mature here until they hatch. The wasps will go out to mate and the females will seek out more hornworms to inject their eggs into. So if you see these white protrusions coming from the back of your hornworms, leave them. In a few days the wasps will hatch and nature will continue protecting your garden. Now let's check the rest of the garden, see if we can find any more. The last thing to do is simply till the soil after you've harvested everything. This will be destructive and hopefully disrupt the hornworms in their pupa stage of their life cycle. All right guys, so that is it. Now I've always heard about these, but I've never actually seen one in person. So this is a new experience for me, a new way of dealing with it, and I hope you learned something just like I did. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thanks guys for watching, and we'll see you soon.